thing I like to do after I assemble all my rods again uh, as you can tell by looking at the block this set of set of pistons is further this way and those set of pistons are further that way that creates an offset so all these pistons that go on this side need to have the short chamfered side facing this way and the arrow on the piston facing this way to the front that's the back front of the motor now just the opposite on this side and you cannot you cannot get this backwards because now you can get it backwards but it won't work if it doesn't work on one side it won't work on the other side it's gonna be wrong on both sides so you can't like mess it up for this side and say oh well I'll just put it on the other side it doesn't work like that so on this side because of the offset the chamfer needs to be on that side but the piston is gonna be facing this way so they're you they're unique on this side compared to this side All, uh, the arrow on the top of the piston always facing forward so my next step before I go any further is to take some light penetrating oil I'm using Amsoil MP metal protector and then cleaning out my cylinder with some penetrating oil and then putting my quick seat in and this helps seat in seat, uh, seat the rings in the cylinders so uh, it's made by Total Seal. Quick Seal, Quick Seat, actually Quick Seat. Yeah, quick, Total Seal, Quick Seat. And I use this on all my builds. As you can tell, if it's a green and a greenish color, then you did it right. If it's a silver color when you put it in, it's still dirty. So you're gonna need to uh, re reapply. Uh, you're gonna have to put more metal protector and clean the cylinder back out and then rub this in and it should get a greenish tint to it and it knows you let it know you've applied it correctly and I like to do this right after that but I'm not going to put my pistons in yet but I want to do this before I put my main bearings and my crank in so I can squirt penetrating oil and do my uh, quick seat in there without worrying about getting anything on the crank itself or on the rod journals because you're not going to have the pistons on so the rods are going to be exposed the rod journals are going to be exposed on the crankshaft so take that into consideration so you, this is a good time to do it now before you get your crank put in